everybody out there in the interwebs. It is I, Nikki Fredard, back again with another video. Last time, did a video based on the Angry Birds' 10-year anniversary. As you may know in that video, there were a certain number of birds that were here. Of course, I'm referring to these guys. Now... I have a long relationship with these guys. In fact, I'm pretty sure you're all aware of the video called Angry Birds Rio Cage Birds Plush Are Here. It's from a guy called Steve Fredard, or Fred, or whatever, the, whatever he was called back then on his YouTube channel. And how he mentioned he had his, how he mentioned that he had a son, have you named all of these? Well, I'm that son. Okay, it's not really much of a surprise, but, I mean, considering how my name is, my last name is also Frederick, it shouldn't be very much of a surprise, but yes, I am the owner of these guys now. I remember doing a video a while back, a follow-up video, and I didn't sound very enthusiastic. I don't know, I was tired that day, but anyway... Back on track. These guys, I mean, they're not. I mean, they're still in good condition, but yeah, they are a little dirty and little tags or something like that. But yeah. But anyway, that's not important. So anyway, now let us go on with the stuff. Here we have Rick. Rick. Rick, the yellow caged bird. Bit of a grouch. Hates his life. And is tired of doing the same crap over and over again. It has really changed throughout the years. Okay. Then we have Billy. The smallest one, because he is really that small. Like, that's how he is. Hasn't really changed much. It's just the cute one, I guess. Okay. John, the uh, the green one, changed a lot about him, where he is their typical silent guy. The silent but deadly ones. Okay. Brick. Oh, poor Brick, you've been through so much throughout the years. Like this, for example. You see... This is a valuable lesson to be learned, is that you should never throw stuff in a, in a ceiling fan. Lucky his wing is still attached. <laughs> to sew it back together. It's not an easy task, but hey, that's okay. It's alright. Let's just say it ha he has a birth condition. I don't know, Brick is not always the luckiest one. In fact, everything pretty much bad happens to him. Heck, I even lost him at one point, And then I found him eventually, so everything's good. So, okay, you can get out of here. Here we have the Red Pancake, a.k.a. Kyle. Probably the weirdest shaped one. <laughs> look look at his head. It looks like a peanut. Tell me this does not look like a peanut. Look, look, look when I lay him down, he, he looks like he's flat, okay? That's, that's good stuff toys for you, I guess. I don't know. But you could tell he's the genius because of his big head. Okay. Then we have Dane. He's the cool one. Even though he's pink, he's not a girl. Pink is a manly color. At least that's what he says. I don't know. But, yeah. And so that is all the birds. Well, at least you... You're in my way, kitty. Okay. Uh, so, sorry about that, folks. The cat, my cat decided to pay me a visit. She's adorable. I love her. Okay, just just, uh, just just leave her be, okay? Anyway, usually this be the end, but no. In fact, there is one more. We have this behemoth of a custom-made plush, or as I like to call him, Monster John. And let's take a quick comparison by the original. You see, this is the original John, the original 
calm one. And this is the super duper pissed off version, the mutated form, you could say. So you could tell by his beak, he has some very, very sharp teeth. He's got red veins around his eyes. He's a, a much darker shade of green. The same thing here. You can tell it's a little bit more tannish, but that's okay. And even the tail. Yeah, that's Monster John. He's the force to be working. He's a force to be reckoned with. And don't make him angry. So that's it. Except I have more of a bonus. If we go over here, I made comics of these guys. And not just comics, but also trading cards. Like actual trading cards right here. Actual drawn trading cards made by my dad. So here's the Rick one. Uh, good luck trying to read that. <laughs> it's very hard to read. Uh, here's Billy. He's the uh, same thing. Try to. <laughs> Oh, God. And then here's John. Yeah. And there's Brick. Oh, sorry, Brick. Here's Dane. A little stain right here. And here we have another character. Cybird. He play, he's a different character in the Cage Bird universe. You'll be seeing him in some in one of these comics. And judging by the name, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. He's a cyborg bird. It's 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 a pun. Yeah. Okay. Moving on to the comics. Mm -hmm. I have made these. This one, the Cage Bird comics and Thailand Day and Adventure Mishaps, my Personal favorite. Free comic book day based on the holiday. What cage bird are you? Part one and two. And locked up. Let us go in order. Starting with free comic book day. There was an original cage bird book that I've made. Well, my dad made anyway. But that is lost forever. And there was also another trading card, but I couldn't find that. So, oh well. Let us read this comic. By the way, this is how the cage birds originally acted, so this isn't accurate now. Also, these books are old, so that too. Yeah, they're they're uh, they're really old. And they're kind of crap. <laughs> they, they're not really good. That's that's all. That's early comic design for you. Okay, now we go to what cage bird are you? Part two. I need part one. Sorry, this is part two. As you can see right here, aside from this giant floating bear head, this is the cage bird's arch nemesis, big toe. He's not supposed to look like a giant floating head, but you know what? Screw it. That's what my dad drew, so whatever. I just did the coloring. Whoops. That did not mean to happen. What cage bird are you? Part two. You could tell that the drawings have been a little bit better. They're a little bit more accurate. But not by much, but getting there, I guess, you could say. And this is what happens when you run out of brown marker. Oh yeah, also one of the birds had a hammer, I guess.
Now for my personal favorite, but as you can see, thanks to my dog, it's ruined. So, yeah. But still, it's one of my personal favorites. Really like the design. I guess the plot as well. Also, yes, the pigs were in the series before I decided to change that because I don't want to retcon with Angry Birds for obvious reasons. And here is another character. Well, at least an appearance of one. This is Dark Dollars. He is a... Well, he used to be a full-on bad guy, but now he's sort of an anti-hero, I guess. He is also the father to another character, but I'm not going to say right now, because that would be spoilers. And then the 8-bit Dark Dollars. This isn't actually him, this is just a different incarnation of him. Dark Dollars himself never appeared in a comic. And neither did another villain, who I don't think even existed yet, so, yeah. So that's the last page, and, uh, yeah. Okay. And now, we move on to the last one, Locked Up. This is the last one, and it's also in this book. Some reason, I don't know why. And here's another character, Colonel. He's the owner of the fried chicken shack. I don't know what these other balls are here for, but let's just say they're other characters, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, Rick. Okay, Rick probably hasn't changed the most because he, he would probably do act like this too. Could say that. Then there's that. And here's another group of birds. The assistants. The orange one is Chuck. The black one is Blackjack. The brown one is Joey. The, uh, turquoise one is Charlie, the gray one is Boomer, and this mess of a behemoth is a Bob. Yeah, there's also this. There's Cybird, like I mentioned before. And uh, this is another character, but it just looks like a silhouette. And then there's Dr. Birdie. He's another character, but this is just a hologram of him. He looks like Billy, but with an eye patch. And he has a somewhat German or Russian accent, I forgot, but he has an accent. And he looks like Nick Fury. I originally had a card of him, but I don't know where I put it, so, yeah. And that's that. That is Cage Birds Plush review with some extra bonus goodies six years later. I hope you enjoy. Thank you, and have a good day.